a spirit visit me in a dream last night. And uh, so when I got up this morning, I made a call and I got a buffalo hide coming uh, tomorrow. So I'm going to re-harden my old skinning knife that I used to flush all those others out years ago. We had a house fire in 2004 and it went through the fire and left it too soft to be usable so I need to re-harden it, get some things ready for this side. So I'll uh, put a bit up of that and kind of let y'all see how that process goes kind of excited about it because this is why I named my son Tanner. This guy called this morning and asked about that hide. I haven't even talked to him in about seven years and uh, over the phone I could just hear his jaw hit the floor when I asked him about that and he says as a matter of fact I'm going to pick one up this afternoon uh, give me till tomorrow to have it ready for you and you can come get it
told me I can come after another one next week. It'll be even a little bit bigger than that. So this one's decent, but I'm going to get it out here in a bit work on it out in the sun some. Got a little fire started out there, so that smoke will help it. So I've got this whole thing fleshed out once here. Uh, pretty decent. It's drying now. This area right in here is where I'm, what I'm looking for. I can try to get a close up here in a minute. But, um, straight down good. There's still a little moisture around the edges. I think this is like the fourth day I've been out messing around with it, so um, I haven't had a whole lot of time, so it's not like I've been uh, non-stop going at it here. I brought this in right now because it starts raining now, the sun come back out, but I've been putting this over the saw horses. And when you're fleshing these, like if you're using a post or a pole or something like that, or the saw horse, you know, you kind of got to get the edge. You know, out here on the flat surface isn't going to do you a whole lot of good. You, you might do some, but depending on what you're using. I'm using here, lately I've been using this uh, cold steel knife. Scraping with that. But, yeah, it's been working just as well as anything. This stuff's awful thick. It's not like doing a white-tailed deer or something like that. It's a lot thicker. So here's kind of what that looks like a little bit more close-up of it. Now you're going to get areas in it where it'll turn dark like this too as it's dry and stuff. That's alright. Just kind of the habit of it. I'm not trying to go all one direction. I mean, I mostly went down this length way scraping, but I'm trying to break through those fibers going just about every which way that I can. Oh, it might be a little darker over here, but it's getting there. do with this here is I'm gonna let this finish dry on one time and then I'm gonna soak it just long enough for a little while to get it thoroughly soaked and then I'll wring it out and stretch it the best I can and start working it. It's real important once you start working it that you keep working it so until it gets all the way dry. If you don't it's gonna stiffen up on you again. I'm not going to use any brains on this. I'm just going to soak it. I'm going to stretch it out until it dries. When it dries, then we're going to smoke it. And uh, depending on your fire, you know, you don't want any heat at all. But it's going to take a while. I'm going to give it probably several hours to get through this hide to get what I want. But, uh... Some hides you might only need an hour and a half, but this, like I say, is a lot thicker and stuff. So, uh, and it depends too, you know, what your smoke's like and what you're using and all that. You want a lot of smoke, no heat. So, I'll, uh, get that on there when we get to that point too. Now, when I stretch this out, and I'm working it and I get it as dry as I want it that's when I'll stitch up like this bullet hole in it where they shot it and a couple of necks where they've caught it with their knives when they skinned it and one other thing if I wanted to take the hair off of this what I do is I use a little bit of wood ash in some water and I soak it now with lighter hides you don't have to soak but maybe a day or so 
in the past with these buffalo, I've soaked them as long as four days in a mixture of water and wood ash to get the hair to slip. And then, you know, there was still areas that it was pretty hard to uh, get the hair off. Other areas just slip right off. But, and I have no measurement on how much for ashes or something like that. I just put in what feels right at the time and keep stirring it up every little while and stuff, moving it around. And now, I might decide to do half of this hide that way with the hair off because I do want some uh, sheaths for my axes and stuff. And uh, if so, I'll want to do that just a little different have it come out just a little bit uh, heavier.